This episode of Logic Lounge is brought to you by GeeksRiot.com. Save 15% now with coupon code LOGIC15. What's up, guys? Creighton here from LogicLounge.com. It's Friday. It's Friday. Fr okay, sorry. I'm, I'm not going to go into that song because I know this video will probably become the most disliked video for me singing that song. So... Not going to do that, but I am going to show you the last of the applications that have been optimized for the Retina Display and the iPad 3 that we have decided to feature. So this week, on Friday, of course, for all of you artists out there, this is a free application that does have a paid side that is better, but we're going to take a look at the free side. It's Autodesk Sketchbook Express. Now this is a great application for anybody who loves drawing, sketching, uh, or just having fun with a piece of paper and a pen, uh, virtually of course. So right now we're started out with just a blank slate. So we can do anything here. We can draw lines and draw more lines. And I'm just drawing the lines to show you off some features. So you can draw lines. We get that part. You can draw figures, you can draw shapes, you can draw whatever. What's also cool is you have more settings and brush styles that you can pick from. So what's cool is this is your whole brush application. So you can choose from different tips. You could have a brushed tip. Uh, you can have uh, different tips of brushes and you can choose colors from black to like blue or white or yellow or stuff like that. And you can have fun drawing around, which is pretty cool. You can also go ahead and select shapes. So this is the freeform tool, straight line, box, and circle, which you can create, or you can do a mirrored. So basically what mirrored does is it does it on both sides of the screen. So you can see here that it's kind of mirroring what I do on there. And you can also add text as well. So if I wanted to put here, you can start typing, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. You can choose different fonts, you can choose different colors, titles, whatever have you, to create an awesome looking picture and you can be done with it. It has other transformation settings as well. It also has a free transform tool, so when you're all done with that wonderful drawing, you can take a look at it. You can, you can turn it around, you can blow it up, you can take it down, you can do whatever you want with it and transform it how you like. That's pretty cool. You can also create different layers. So if you wanted to create different uh, uh, layers of different pictures and put them all together, you have this nifty feature here where you can change the layer and change the opacity of the layer. So if I want to change the opacity of this layer and make it more opacitic or less opacitic, I think opacitic is a word. Anyways, <laughs> you can also duplicate layers and mirror the layers as well. Now, one of the cool features here is you see this little dot down here. Now, if you click that little dot, it brings up some more transformation features for the person who doesn't really want to go through all the menu settings and they just want to automatically kind of just work as they go without having to, to go into different settings and features and know which buttons to push. And it just gets so confusing and you don't know what to do. Well, pressing that little button here brings up this little menu where you can press this feature and look at that. You can change size and you can change opacity of your brush by either doing your finger up and down or side to side. And it can change the size and the opacity uh, and then you can get ahead and draw. Other stuff includes clearing the whole board so I can just clear it and it's all gone. But there's also a back button to undo the mess that I made, which I probably made a mess. Anyways, we can also go through here, undo, redo, and then full screen, of course, if I can press the button, full screen. And so check it out. It's a free application. So why don't you give it a download? I mean, it's free. It's like the first free application that I've featured this week. So go get it a download. Tell me how you like it. I think you'll love it. Anybody who's just starting out as an artist or anybody who is already an artist and just wants to play around on their new iPad with a painting application, check out 
Sketchbook and Sketchbook Pro. Sketchbook Express is free. Sketchbook Pro is paid like 20 bucks, I think. But if you're a professional and you use your iPad professionally, it's well worth it. So check it out. And if you have any questions for me, email me, Creighton at LogicLounge.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, all under the username of Logic Lounge. And that does it for this week. I hope you enjoyed all of our applications. Of course, we only had to feature five applications this week to really show off all of the iPad and what it can do. So if you have more applications that you want me to download in the future, go ahead and drop me a line. Tell me what applications that you want me to, to check out for the iPad. Because I love to check out different applications, not only for the iPad, but for the iPhone as well. So send me an email, make some suggestions, and I'll take a look at them. So until Monday, actually Wednesday, we'll see you guys later. You've probably got some pretty boring shirts, right? Well, it's time to change all that. Visit geeksriot.com and pick from the hottest geeky shirts. Not only for men, but for women too. For watching Logic Lounge today, you get 15% off. That's 15% off your entire order. Use coupon code LOGIC15, that's LOGIC15 at checkout to save. Not only are you getting some amazing apparel, but you're also supporting the show. 